di negara Perancis mungkin kes Malaysia pun um, akan uh, di, di consider lah dengan serius. So we we file the case. And pada masa tu, the peguam peguam kita tu memang uh, very generous lah. Dia buat kerja ni at this level secara perbono. Uh, kita tak perlu bayar apa apa. Tetapi sekarang lepas kes tu dibuka, the cost has gone up. Nanti I get to the cost later, okay? So the focus of the complaint was the commission haram of 114.9 million euro. Now this is important because the French court still dia tak boleh siasat everything and anything. They must have a focus. Now kenapa French court ni rajin sangat nak siasat ni? Let me tell you one thing. They are not interested in Malaysian people's welfare. Apa yang dia pedulikan is whether dia punya French officials have actually violated French laws by accepting bribery, money ataupun commission haram uh, on the French side. And in France, in 2002, France telah pun menandatangani Convention OECD. I think you have seen this in many articles. Convention OECD is an anti-rasuah convention. So it is now illegal. In the, sekarang sudah jadi haram untuk pegawai-pegawai negara Perancis untuk mendapatkan any form of commission every time they do trading uh, with uh, other countries, international trade, and so on. So this is what they are investigating. It so happens that there is so much money that has transferred from France to Malaysia and from Malaysia to Malaysia that. The investigation actually merangkumi orang-orang uh, uh, yang terlibat dalam urusnya ke kapal selam ni, and whether they can actually be uh, convicted uh, at, uh, as the case go on. So this uh, is a memang satu cabaran yang besar because we are dealing with a different kind of legal system and a, a country that does not speak uh, English or Malay. So semua uh, French. Semua rendingan, semua dokumen, everything French. is in French, French. And semua tu kena uh, translated So it, it, it's memang uh, a, a big challenge Okay. So for two years, uh, untuk selama dua tahun Pihak pendakwa, pihak pendakwa raya, it's like our attorney general's office Similar but not the same uh, Membuat siasatan permulaan uh, What did they do? Pejabat DCNS, which is the shipbuilding company, uh, di Gelada, dokumen dirampas termasuk kontrak di antara DCNS dan Mindef, iaitu Menteri Pertahanan, uh, MOU, uh, invoice, bank, uh, whatever they could get their hands on. Tetapi ada 10 lagi dokumen yang di yang di uh, minta untuk uh, declassification, it has not yet been released by the French government. So we expect that more debt will be surfaced in, in the future. So, but the French is another motivasi untuk uh, badan hak asasi manusia is that we can use the openness of the French system yang ada Freedom of Information Act. Uh, kita ada akta rahsia rasmi. Everything is under the official secrets. No matter what you do, you can never find the the contract uh, readily available. So kita cuba lah kalau boleh dapat from the roundabout way. And it seems like it paid off. Sebab contract tu di di rampas and they started to um, reveal uh, beberapa maklumat yang penting kepada kepada uh, uh, lawyers, kepada peguam dan juga suara. Suara now filed the case on behalf of the. Malaysian people. So, uh, kalau lah there is compensation that is paid, then we need a tribunal on how to pay back the 114.9 million euro to the public because it's public taxpayers' money that we are asking for. So this is the basis of the civil suit. Tetapi, okay, so ada dua hakim yang dilantik. This is another another interesting thing. Biasanya di Perancis, according to our lawyers, uh, one judge per one case. Why they put two judges? And kedua-dua hakim ni memang uh, senior uh, judges. So, we think 
(um) memang case ni dia bagi keutamaan it's some sort of priority in france although we are trying to understand (err) impact dari segi (err) politik di perancis also now you know france has a new government so what what does that mean to the socialist government because the socialist were the ones who who sign the deal with malaysia at that time so (err) interesting to watch on the other side as well okay then (um) (ppo) (err) this one very important sebab kes sidang tu dibuka sekarang kerajaan negeri perancis telah pun memulakan satu siasatan jenayah a criminal investigation and this is what we were hoping will 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 start because kalau satu siasatan jenayah (err) (err) dilangsungkan di negeri perancis then (err) kita boleh (err) pursue this a bit further because then the french government is involved the siasatan ni adalah ke atas beberapa pegawai kanan di CNS (err) atas isu (err) rasuah dan bribery that was (err) (err) facilitated dalam proses urus niaga kapal selam so (err) peguam telah pun membagitahu kita bahawa kalau ada sesiapa yang tertuduh based on the siasatan jenayah then our witness list in the civil case can then be trans~ extrapolated to become a suspect list which means let's use Abdul Razak Baginda because I know you all want to use (err) the the other Razak (err) tapi kalau Razak Baginda is a key suspect dalam case civil tetapi (err) peguam dan (err) the criminal investigation they feel that Razak Baginda is so crucial to the criminal investigation finding and they can actually (err) (err) transcend his name from the civil inquiry to the criminal hearing and then he would be a suspect and if you are a suspect then it is far more difficult to escape the long arm of the law in in France okay so this this we need to see what's going to to happen sebab (err) siasatan criminal ni (err) baru baru saja (err) (err) bermula (err) pada bulan April yang lalu so (err) there is a lot of developments okay on the 19th of April, I, I think you all know, uh, Suara telah pun berdepan dengan Hakim memberi uh, keterangan and um, our witness statement. So uh, Hakim tu, he was he was very very nice, tapi very detailed, and we had to argue for each of the seven saksi yang kita kemukakan kepada Hakim why uh, setiap saksi itu penting. So Honestly, uh, kawan-kawan, we thought that uh, he was going to reject uh, Najib Razak punya nama based on immunity issues, based on the fact that he is the head of state of another sovereign country dan sebagainya. Tapi, when we presented the fact that Najib Razak was the Menteri Pertahanan pada tahun 2002 semasa kontrak itu ditandatangani. So, he said, that would be a very important witness but it is up to me at which point in time I shall call each of the witnesses so to pull up the deal uh, based on the investigation uh, uh, when he will call yang, uh, whichever witness tapi dia telah pun mem, uh, membagitahu kita that Abdul Razak Baginda will be the first witness